The human genome is vast, 23 chromosomes, 20,000 genes. It's like a library of life with 23 shelves, 20,000 books, and 3 billion letters within those books. Our genes provide the code of life, a blueprint for the processes that program every aspect of an individual's development, from a single fertilized egg to the trillions of cells that make up an adult. At the Johns Hopkins Department of Genetic Medicine, world-renowned clinicians and scientists are investigating this fundamental part of human existence and using what they learn to better understand biology and improve health in the United States and around the world. The Division of Medical Genetics, the Department of Medicine at Johns Hopkins, was established in 1957 by Dr. Victor McCusick and was one of the first divisions of medical genetics anywhere in the country. Over time, that expanded, and we have continued that legacy with the Department of Genetic Medicine, turning it around because genetics underlies all of medicine. Genetics is in every field, every branch of medicine, and there have just always been lots of people here who were very interested in understanding the root, the cause, the mechanism behind disease, and how people with the same condition or disease are so different from each other. And understanding that variation and then how to develop medical care that is transformative. The particularity of genetics is that if you have a change, it has implications for you, but it also can have implications for people who came before you, like your parents, and people who came after you, that will be your children. So we take care of the person in front of us, but we also take care of the family. The Johns Hopkins Department of Genetic Medicine seeks to integrate genetics into all of medicine, to provide state-of-the-art care for patients, to train the next generation of genetics experts, and to lead the development of cutting-edge, foundational, and translational research. Basic and translational science are not as separate as people might think. Basic science describes the rules. It says what's possible. Translational science takes those foundations from basic science and then tries to put them together in imaginative ways, learning from the results that we achieve and then applying those results to patient care. Because every person is different, so is every disease. And genetic medicine tries to take that genetic diversity into account and make better treatments for every individual. At the same time, many people share our single mutations that cause similar diseases in all of those people. And so figuring out the best way to make effective treatments for the most people that we can is what we're focused on. So if we know a particular mutation that an individual has, we have a therapy that is targeted for that person. There are things like risk prediction that we can do much better now. So identifying people earlier, or maybe even identifying people you don't need to screen. So you can imagine breast cancer. Can we identify people who maybe they don't need to get screened until they're 50 years old instead of 40 years old? So it's thinking about how we can optimize medical care and use of resources. Those are just two of lots of examples that we have going forward where this is gonna really improve people's lives. At Johns Hopkins, researchers study everything from the genetic basis of human diseases to the role of epigenetics in health, to the science of human aging, and so much more. We bring research discoveries from the bench to the bedside, pushing the field of genetics forward into the future. The Department of Genetics has a long history of training the world experts and leaders in clinical genetic medicine. There are innumerable discoveries from genes to treatments to um, therapeutic advances that have all happened right here at Hopkins. And the future will really be about making genetic information accessible to all. We are really at the right place to look at what's the future of our genetic medicine and our new vision is we want to make genetic medicine sustainable, innovative, and equitable for all population. That is the reason why I come to work every single day. That is the reason why thousands of geneticists across the world are working uh, every single day. Help us further the understanding of human heredity, health, and genetic medicine, and use that knowledge to diagnose, treat, and prevent disease, improving health and life for all people around the world. <laughs>